angry guy here, and men don't care if society goes to hell. Men don't care if society goes to hell. You know, there's a lot of nonsense going on right now in Western society. Men are sick and tired of the games, of the disrespect, of the way they're treated. And men are walking away. You know, I've talked about this. The reports that many of you see say, say that 7 million men are not working. That's incorrect. 30 million men are not working. In the United States, 30 million able-bodied men are not working. These are not men who are incarcerated. These are men who are choosing to not work. And that's a very significant thing. Men are walking away from society entirely. These are the men who have actually figured out that it's more advantageous to not work at all. How are these men doing it? I'm going to be putting together a blueprint for you guys. So many of you can learn how to do this. You don't have to stop working entirely. However, by doing this, it'll give you the ability to reduce the amount of time that you work or to maximize your happiness so that you don't have to do work that you don't want to do or you don't have to work when you don't want to. You can take a, take a time off or just not work at all, which is optimal while still having money coming in and piling up in the bank. The truth is that men should never have ever put themselves in this position where they gave away so many years of their lives for nothing, absolutely nothing. You look at guys who became police officers or joined the military, and now these guys, some of these guys are not even 40 years old yet. After 20 years of service, they get full pension. They get full pension and they can sit at home and relax while collecting a check. And that's what a lot of them are doing. The men who were smart, didn't get married, didn't have children. And it's not just the it's not just that. There's so many jobs out there that give you these benefits, but these are the jobs that ironically typically don't require a high school diploma. Jobs like UPS, like working at the post office. You know, public service jobs. A lot of these jobs, you get a retirement plan. And you can be, and after that, you just go home and chill. You know, I look at my, I look at friends that I had who worked for the city. And these guys have been working for the city for now over 20 years. They can retire. Many of them are heading towards retirement. They have, and these jobs, you know, they, they cannot get fired from these jobs very easily. And they can go and retire very soon and live very easy, comfortable lives. And that's really what men should be focusing on. Why would you stress yourself out, wear your body out over literally nothing? You know, what I've come to realize is that once you start to understand evil, that's when you'll truly start to understand women. Once you comprehend evil, you will begin to understand them better. No, you will have a much better understanding of who they are, how they function, why they do the things that they do, why they make the decisions that they make. Once you have an understanding of evil, it will open your eyes up drastically. And the best way to deal with it is to simply not participate at all. It is to walk away. You do enough on your own terms. You work on your own terms or you don't work at all. You know, there's a lot of guys who they worked many years and they got smart. For example, you don't need a lot of money to walk away from society. You work for a year or two, you save your money, you turn around and you get yourself a mobile home or you learn real estate and you get a property, get a mobile home and you have your property that you purchase. You, it's rented out, you're earning an income from it. So the rent is covering not only the mortgage on the property, but it's also it, it's covering the mortgage and it's also covering 
and it's also and it's also giving you an income. So you're getting an income from that property while the while, while the renters are paying the mortgage. And you're just and you know you put equity in, you know you you built up the property. So for example, when you purchase the property, the property was not worth as much. You invested in the property, let's say twenty five thousand dollars. You invest you invest in the property, and you increase the value of the property substantially. So now the value of the property goes up by one hundred, two hundred thousand dollars, which by the way you can also now take out and put in your pocket. And now you have that money, you have that money, and the property is being paid for, the property is being paid for entirely by the people who you're renting it to. So they're covering the mortgage, and they're also giving you disposable income every month that you don't have to work for. You get yourself a property manager. There are companies, all companies everywhere that do property management, and you have them manage the property you first property for for you for a small amount of money and you basically sit back and do nothing and life is good it's a it's as simple as that it really is as simple as that and i'm not saying that everything is going to go perfect but that's really it a lot of guys on my channel do they're just that they have houses that they have rented out and then they're living they're living easy living off living just living or there's a lot of guys, for example, there's many of you right now, you don't know this, you qualify for social security disability. A lot of you have back issues. A lot of you have health issues from the jobs that you've worked for many years. And I'm telling you right now, you will apply. You apply for disability, you go through the process, and you will qualify. Just put in the work. And once you're on disability, you can just chill. You can you can literally just chill and you can still pull money in. You can still make money. And you can just chill. Stack money away in the bank. Have disability covering everything for you. Live in a live in rent in in a live in housing, public, you know, public housing, section 8, whatever. You'll qualify. You know, get vouchers. Have a lot of these things covered for you. There's no shame. I see some, there's some dudes in the comments like what welfare king, welfare, welfare knight. It's like, seriously, y'all are here paying all of this money for people to live off you, and you're not gonna win. This the system is rigged, it's broken. You, you guys, nothing we do at this point can fix it. Nothing we do. There is nothing we can do at this point to fix the system. I don't think any of you get it. You're completely delusional. We are the country is thirty-one trillion dollars in debt, and the only way that they can continue is by piling on more. It, the, the, every everything is divided, guys. There's no reason to keep on trying. There's no reason to try. Oh, we can make, we can fight on. We can, t guys. Listen to me. Do what Billy did. You know, I show you the video, that Futurama video. I show you the Futurama video, right? And I and I love it. You know, don't date robots, bro. Date a robot. Because what did Billy do? He lived a happy life. So what if I love a robot? It's not hurting anybody. My God, he never took middle school hygiene. He never saw the propaganda film. It's just lucky I keep a copy in the VCR at all times. Ordinary human dating. It's enjoyable and it serves an important purpose. But when a human dates an artificial mate, there is no purpose, only enjoyment. And that leads to tragedy. Neato, a Marilyn Monroe bot. <laughs> You're a real dreamboat. Billy Everyteen. Harmless fun? Let's see what happens next. Mm. Mm. Billy? Do you want to walk your dog? No, thanks, Mom. I'd rather make out with my Monroe bot. <laughs> Billy, do you want to get a paper route and earn some extra cash? No, thanks, Dad. I'd rather make out with my Monroe bot. <laughs> Billy, do you want to come over tonight? We can make out together. Gee, Mavis, your house is across the street. That's an awfully long way to go for making out. <laughs> Did you notice what went wrong in that scene? 
Ordinarily, Billy would work hard to make money with his paper route. Then he'd use the money to buy dinner for Mavis, thus earning a slim chance to perform the reproductive act. But in a world where teens can date robots, why should he bother? Why should anyone bother? Let's take a look at Billy's planet a year later. Where are all the football stars? And where are the biochemists? They're trapped, trapped in the soft, vice-like grip of robot lips. All civilization was just an effort to impress the opposite sex. And sometimes the same sex. Now, let's skip forward 80 years into the future. Where's Billy? <laughs> Farewell! The next day, Billy's planet was destroyed by aliens. Have you guessed the name of Billy's planet? It was Earth. Don't date robots! Now, guys, let me tell you something. Like I said, if you go backwards, uh, he's here pissed off. Don't date robots. Look how happy Billy is when he passed away. Look at the happiness on his face. Look how look at the compassion from one robot looking looking at her master affectionately. Okay, Billy lived a damn good life. Now, do you see what he? You know, eighty years of men walking away from society, refusing to maintain infrastructure or even deal with the opposite gender. This is the reaction. This is the, this is the result. Of course, the infrastructure completely collapsed because men abandoned society. They said, "Why should I have to put up with any nonsense, any games, anything? I'm not doing anything. I'm just going to live as easy of a life as I can, and I don't need much to survive." In the case of Billy, Billy didn't even have a television. It seems Billy was just chilling. He had his mon robot, and he basically he ate what he wanted to eat. He slept when he wanted to sleep, and he had. You know, a wonderful relationship with Monroe, one robot, and that was that. You know, th guys, there is no reason for us to participate in this, in this rigged society. Here's what you do. You leave society and you leave all this other nonsense to the state. Let the state worry about it. Let the state take care of it. Let women and the state take care of all of these issues. All right? Respect the law. Respect the law. Guys. If you see something happening, unless it affects you personally, say nothing and do not intervene. There's a saying like, you know, like there's a, the cops always say, see something, say something. Do not say anything. Mind your business. Do not get involved as a man. Do not protect others. Only protect yourself or your immediate loved ones. Okay. Listen to me. If I'm out, if I'm out and about and I see someone in need, you know, it doesn't matter if it's an adult or so, a young person. I'm not helping them. I'm not helping them. I'm minding my business. I'm staying as far away from them as possible. Even if I can, I won't. And that's the attitude you should have. Some of you all are like, you have no masculinity, angry. You're a piece of crap. You're not being a man. Okay, bro, go do you. Do you live your life. Be a hero, bro. Be a hero. See where it gets you. There's so many dudes listening to me right now that 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 that, 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 that tried to live that life, tried, tried to live that hero life. And, you know, they found out, oh, angry, it's not about being a hero. But, I mean, it's about doing at least a, the bare minimum. You don't have to be like that. No, bro. Okay, go be a hero. Go, 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 go try to save the world. Guys, there's a saying, no good deed goes unpunished. You can't think like that, angry. Bro, don't learn from me then, all right? Ignore it. Say, say it's not wisdom, okay? Don't take my, listen to me, please just leave the channel. There's a bunch of other, there's a bunch of sims to listen to. There's a great streamer. His name is Destiny, all right? I think Destiny is the kind of guy you should be listening to and following, all right? He's 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 the, he's the one for you. Angry, don't be like that, bro. I don't care about you. I don't want you here. Like, I'm giving out this. I don't have to do this. I don't want to hear your symptom. I'm not a simp. You are a simp, dude, and I don't, I'm not your friend, okay? We're, listen, let's agree to disagree, and you go away. I don't want to see you, and if I see you in my comments, Making comments, annoying me, I'm just going to block you. I'm just going to block you right away, okay? Like, 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 I'm just being real. Like, I mean, if you all have a problem with what I'm saying, please let me know in the comments. Please, exp you know, let's have a civil conversation, a civil discussion in the comments why you disagree with anything I say so that I can block you, okay? Please, just let me know in the comments so I can block you, okay? And, you know, if you if you decide that you're going to create puppet, puppet accounts and keep on doing it, don't worry. YouTube will eventually just go for your IP address and then you won't even. And here's the thing. Once you've once you've you're, you're you've lost one, like if you've like they'll just you, you'll never be able to allow to have another channel. Like you'll be shocked. Like they'll just keep on like they'll, they'll just restrict you from you from accessing YouTube, you know. 
But just just keep it up. Go ahead. Like you think that you're big, bad, and smart. Go for it. Just leave me alone. Leave my channel alone. Go find a simp channel. You know, go go find a sim channel that you agree with. You know, I'm not having a discussion with you. See, that's the thing, guys. These people they want to try to convince you because they want to live all they they want masculine men to protect them or to 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 to, to relate to them. Nah, bro, I'm not your friend. You know, I'm not your friend. You're kind of hostile, angry. You're damn right. Get out of here. You know, go hang out with the simps that you love. Guys, I've said this before and I'll say it again. You know, women basically they went too they went too far. They went too far with everything. Guys, if you're enjoying the content, help get the channel to 100,000 subscribers in our journey to 2 million by subscribing to the channel if you already have it, liking the video, and turning on notifications. Never miss another video ever again. Men don't care if society goes to hell. What do you guys think about this? Do you agree with what we've discussed here in the comments? I want to hear your thoughts on it, on it. So let's talk about it in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away. And cheers.